going to have to go back and redo the earlier part of this. Um, I was working out on the front veranda where I normally work, but it's windy today, so I've moved it into the shed. Because the first 25 minutes of this, all you get is wind, a wind noise. So what I've done is I've cut out some uh, uh, 1x4 cm uh, steel out of a nice piece of sawmill steel. Um, it's a log cutting frame saw. Um, this is my little uh, saw here. Uh, my little filing jig. Clean it up. Uh, what I've done, mm. round it off this, and I've had to replace the eye bolt as well. Um, so it's a little bit noisy at the moment. But um, round off the corners, so yeah, it's nice and shiny, both sides. That's so it don't dig in in the corners. And, that, and so it leaves me a nice rounded curve uh, leading into the Ricasso, which is, uh, for those who don't know, it's a flat section on the uh, blade before it actually starts in on the edge. I've got this marked up again so you can see it, because I had this originally done. But anyway, and what we're doing, that's a stop bolt, that's another stop bolt. Uh, small clamp here, eyelet back over here, and turn this around that way and you look down there so I'll move this back around here and here's where I screwed up last time because I didn't get it actually get back into the picture frame so I'm not a good cameraman I'm doing this by myself so you want nice even pressure and you've got to keep this dead flat in fact you've got to uh, try because hitting the, the bolt here when it's right up to it it makes this corner dig in a little bit uh, actually, this side here, dig in, so you get uh, a little divot in there sometimes if you're doing it wrong. You'll catch on real, uh, if you're doing it wrong, that divot will show up. So, just nice even pressure. Right uh, when you get to the end, over here, the point, don't let your file run off the end. Right, yeah? Try to keep it. 50% of the file on the blade at, at least. But as we say, people are saying, gee, that's going to take a bloody long time. But um, 30 minutes. Um, a solid. So doing this, uh, it's taken me 20 minutes with a hacksaw and two and two hacksaw blades because this is pretty uh, pretty tough still. Um, I've got a bloody good file though. Um, keep on cleaning your file, clean, uh, clean them out real. If it fills up, you get these massive great score lines. I don't know if you can see it, but I've got a, a little bit in there. Um, but we keep on going. People will say, "Ain't well, we've got a flat tip on that." Well, by the time this gets up in to here. Actually, no, it won't be. It'll work, work its way around, and that tip will come off. Um, I suggest you actually put a tip or a rounded tip on uh, for this method to come through. As you can see, it's not that even in there. I've actually taken a little bit more off in there than there. Um, a little bit more off in there, I'm creating my own divot. So I've got to pull that back in here, lift that front end, and that just slightly. <coughs> Now I slipped over that bit so I can get that length over. Now I've got this fairly even, maybe a little bit under done just there. 
sure what it was. Um, leftover butts, uh, bolts, uh, nuts, um, a screw that I've uh, squared off so it sits up here fairly flat. Um, I've drilled half a mil uh, smaller to allow for the thread. Um, I've got that with a couple of mil leeway so I've got some um, half inch rod uh, which is 12.5mm uh, that's a 14mm eyelet, eye bolt back here I really should put some more oil on that um, silver bullet gun oil best gun oil you can get mm -hmm. I'm biased USDA US Department of Agriculture approved pig fat it's absolutely wonderful stuff, but it's not going to help with this rough bar. But you might. Sounds like a jackass, doesn't it? <laughs> As you can see, again, it's keeping it pretty even. Now, what I've done with the knife blade beforehand, I've actually scribed the line halfway through there. So I'm going to get just above the halfway mark and then flip her over and do the, the same on the other side. So I'll keep on going at this because I'm nowhere near halfway. Excuse me. Some people whistle while they work, I smoke. And it's bad for you.
Yeah. Only use a forward stroke until you get a bit of practice with using a file. Um, I'll tell you why. On the back stroke, um, drawing it back that way, um, you can actually bite in. And I've got a little bit there, I don't know if you can see it. Slightly raised up there. That's caused by a back stroke. Um, drawing back and putting too much pressure on the back edge. This side here. Um, which is a nat natural tendency for pretty much everybody to do it. Uh, and I'm not exempt either, so I do it. But uh, please, uh, do as I say, no as I do as I say. Pretend uh, I'm a politician. No, I don't do that. Uh, that actually quite stiff. Um. screws here so you can get this board in and out swap it over. I've got some off cuts outside. Um, here's a bit that I'm uh, so I can actually do uh, a friend's uh, samurai sword and uh, reach into that because he actually does use it. Um, uh, he's one of these brilliant actors and um, yeah they, they really whack the living daylights out of that sword so it needs dressing up every now and again. Um, so I'm getting that one ready for that one. because you can actually over grind that and make the end very, very, very uh, thin and you can actually grind it flat. Um, I'm going to post grind this down but I want more support up here. That's one of the reasons why I've got that tip. It'll grind off here uh, a little bit but I'm also going to drop that tip down there because this is going to be um, a, a veggie knife um, for a nice chap. Um, made him a cleaver and uh, never clean the blade too much. Okay. 